scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Come on, break open in his presence. Tell him, Lord, take this pain. Release your everything in his presence. Inside and outside, make sure you participate. The Bible says, lay aside every weight. There are all kinds of weights in this place tonight. Challenges in our families, your personal progress in life, your academics, your spiritual life. Come on, just pray it away. Pray it away. As you pray in tongues, let it go. There's no money in your pocket, but there is something at work in your spirit. There's no money in your bank account, but you are still more than a conqueror. Something bad happened to you, but his horn is still exalted in your life. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. The wife said, do you still hold your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? And he said, why do you speak like these stupid women? Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. I choose to praise you. I choose to worship. It's a decision. There's no reason. I may not give any reason for it. But I choose to worship. We worship Him. Let all the earth 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 worship Him. His presence is mighty in this place. Just worship Him. He's your maker. Many of you may not understand what is going on in this place. This is called Koinonia. It's an intimacy. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, the more I see your face, the more I want to see it again, the more I hear your voice. 
The more I want to hear it again The more I hear your word The more I want to hear it again Jesus, more of you Jesus, more of you Come on, sing Jesus, more of you Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus. Express your love to your maker. We're almost losing the art of worship in the body of Christ. We have done well with prayer. This is the secret. The protocol of his presence. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. Sing, I'll serve you, Lord. I'll serve you forever. about my many struggles but by your spirit and your grace I'm confident you'll solve them but I'm here to say I love you I'm here to say I adore you that's why I'm here tonight. To say I love to love you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, Lord. Come on, sing it. It's from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Sing, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, sing, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, sing, I praise you. Sing, I'll praise you. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. I worship you. I worship you. 
Worship Him. It's a sacrifice of praise. you mighty and majestic the multi-breasted one who is there like you Come on, worship Koinonia. In your likeness, who is there? I'm telling you, I feel the presence of Jesus in this place. Oh, Lord. I know when his presence shows up. It's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship. Come on, we lift our hands. We lift our hands to the great I am. compare with you who can compare one more time I lift my hands I lift my hands to the great I am who was and who is and is I lift my hands to the great description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension I'm worshiping him like nothing ever seen or heard the presence of Jesus is in this place who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty. And thrown on high. Come on, sing. I stand. I stand in awe of you. I stand. I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand. 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 I stand.
stand in awe of you, only God, to whom all praise is due. I stand. Hallelujah. Make my life. Let it be the temple of your spirit. And let my spirit fill the world of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation. Sing it from your heart. Where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Lord, I want to know your love. I want to offer a sacrifice of praise. Fill this that you are walking in the midst of your people Jesus is in this place not the Holy Spirit not angels I know when his presence is in a building Jesus we thank you we pray make your presence known Father make your presence known Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We choose to honor you with our lives, with our hearts, and everything that we have. We're not in a hurry. Lord, we bless you for your mighty, mighty presence. I'm telling you the presence of Jesus is in this place. I know he's in this place.
the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say come let your will be done tonight let us see your face to see your face once again to hear your voice once again to see your face once again once again in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have for me in the glory Elohim Madonna Elohim Elohim Madonna Elohim Elohim Madonna Come on, go ahead and pray in tongues. There is a ladder we are climbing in the spirit tonight. It's a night of encounter. We will sing in the spirit. For who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Sakata braga da bala da ba ka sa braga da bala da ba sh. Sakata braga da bala da ba sh. Sakata braga da bala da 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 ba sh. Braga da bala da 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 ba sh. Sakata braga da bala da ba sh. Sakata ba ka bra sh ka bra da da ba da da ba. We ascend the hill of the Lord. Sakata braga da da bala da ba da da ba ka da braga da bala da ba. Forget about your weakness of your body. Sakata Bretas Kalabash is the protocol for an encounter. Is the protocol for an encounter. By tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the vistas of his presence. Sakata Brekadeva Nadabash. Sekarang, 
Edify yourself in the spirit. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Is the law of the secret place? Is the law of the secret place? When you seek him, you will find him. Outside, participate. The spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. His name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. I have been. Come on, sing. We're just going to press a little further. We are sons. We're not serving an idol. Is there? Is Jesus? Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. be the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing it, Savior, Savior, Savior.
rise the solid rock I stand all on the ground I don't care what they are sing and sound all on the ground On Christ, the solid rock, on Lord of Father, tonight reveal yourself to us. Show us something about you that we have never seen. Put a fire in our spirit. Let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just sit as quiet as you can. No distraction. Let's keep this atmosphere. As solemn as it is, Jesus is in this place. I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably. Tonight is a night of encounter. I'm not here to preach tonight. Tonight is a night of encounter. There must come a point in your life where you will encounter God not just to be taught about Him. Just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere. There is a flight in the Spirit. Psalm 63 I want to share with you a very powerful mystery. Tonight is a night of encounter. The Lord told me this. Tonight is a night of encounter. Many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences i told you tonight is an encounter many of you will see things you have never seen before many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before help us tonight psalm 63 psalm 63 Psalm 63 O hmm. oh God Thou art my God Early will I seek Thee My soul thirsted for Thee My flesh longed for Thee In a dry and thirsty land Where there is no water Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. You know that song? Holy. Holy. No. Lord God Almighty. There's only one word to There's only one word to describe 
and only one word comes to me. when you truly stand before his presence only one word to describe Holy, that's the word. Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance. But the way God trained me is not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah I want to share with you something very powerful i want to share with you how i began my journey in the spirit and how the holy ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find god in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak English. Utterance is not the same as oratory. You can get oratory by good education. You know what utterance is? Utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to. The encounter is so deep, you do not have the frame, the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I, I, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now I know I'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet. Let me tell you something. I do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth, principles of prosperity, principles of increase, principles of training and mentorship and building people. But there is one thing I know. I know the protocol of an encounter. This one, a man did not teach me. Paul said I know a man 14 years ago in Arabia whether he was in the body or in the spirit I do not know but he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter there were things that John saw and he said seal this don't bring this the people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter seal it it's for an appointed time there is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets God when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience 
hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night and men looked and said it's saul or oh, it wasn't because saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called samuel hallelujah one time they came to capture the armies i mean they came to capture the prophet of god elijah and when they came the philistines i believe they they, they, they gathered around and he prayed and the servant was perplexed because see he was sitting in another realm his confidence was not of this realm and the servant was shaky and he said oh lord would you not bring this man into my experience let him see what gives me this audacity let him see what informs my confidence all of a sudden his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are see you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father-in-law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth i'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when i began my pursuit for god listen to me i had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today i'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom i would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down it's part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around the church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn 
I started crying until morning. I felt, I felt filthy. I felt unclean. Practically unclean. It wasn't because I was fornicating or doing any bad thing. A presence, a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology. Rattled everything that I had known. For days, I was crying. I could not even eat. Let me tell you the truth. I was sobbing and crying. I was not in control of the tears. I didn't understand the presence of God. Do you know? Because of that, the passion that was in my spirit. I got a notebook. I still have the notebook. I wrote a letter to all my friends. My extended family in the village. That was all I knew. It was a letter on rapture that Jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention. That was all that I knew. There was such a passion for souls, not ministry, not power, not healing, not deliverance, not prosperity, not money, not influence. Souls, the heartbeat of the Father. God hides himself in light. He will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him hallelujah i i always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep and then i would wake up and these encounters i kept writing letters i carried a bulk of my clothes i told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people i called my brother who was then studying in shika came home and we prayed on the clothes i drove down to an orphanage home i went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 i was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot I want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of god are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time they lack the impetus to endure hallelujah and after that encounter i began to pursue god i i had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and Ejimi told me what would be the name of this ministry now I said I don't know God didn't give me any name let's find something I can't even remember the name we used Trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to PFN we are coming for a crusade and now I see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry 
and they mentored the life of very wrong men of God who are out of the program of God. Don't use cars and suits and English and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of God. You will be greatly deceived. Motivational speakers pack stadiums. Are they anointed? But they pack stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak. It doesn't take too much to gather people. Hallelujah. Is someone hearing me tonight? And I began this encounter. Let me tell you something. I would pray for days. I wasn't looking for ministry. Show me your face. Show me your glory, oh God. That's all I want. A time came, it was, it was a matter of life and death. I remember I would go to life way life way and then I had I had do you know I would be in the restaurant in community market immediately I finish eating there's one anywhere I hear them playing a tape there were Christian bookstores around I'll just go and sit down there I knew almost all of them I was hungry I spent my money on books books on purpose i will never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article i wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ramat, you know that bush there they started developing it now it was at the back of Ramat. that's where i would go and shout like a madman in the night saying lord will you reveal yourself or kill me don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory god never gave me any assurance that i'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will i seek you i will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah i'll never forget dramatic encounters i was staying in Danfodio, and i remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself steve strings and andy ambassador who were roommates room 155 o block people used to come in the morning in the morning i was a strange person i could be lying down and the next thing the moment i see an angel steve strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happened the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension I was broke sometimes I would not have money but there was a guava tree in front of the house I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water and say Lord I give you praise and I would lock up myself praying and then at a point listen to me certain things started happening in my life I would be praying I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence I stand before God and I tell you the truth I lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and I was being careful so that I wouldn't dabble into any demonic thing I had to search the scripture and I saw when the cloud of God's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your Bible 
Hallelujah. I'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox. God is my witness. It was in less than three hours or so, the person came back and almost 90% of what he had had disappeared. And there was nobody to clap for me. I didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle. You know the problem with a lot of people? There are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything. So it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about God. I was seeking the face of God with all my heart. Then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things. I would just go behind Sunday school building and sit down there. And I used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual... Look, let me tell you something. This is the reason why you may talk about somebody and God will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice. There is, there is, it's like blood on the altar that speaks. Hallelujah. When Reinhard Bonke was coming for crusade, I remember that time I went, I've shared with you the story. Six hours I was standing, no seat. A pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman will lean on me i said madam i understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing i'm we're all tired here but i was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters i started having all of these encounters and i'll never forget listen one night the longing of my soul was satisfied when Jesus Christ appeared to me, I have seen him. It's not because I read it in scripture. This is why I can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen Jesus did not see Jesus. There is nothing that left. There was no deposit in their life. If you see Jesus, even if it's for one minute, something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime. This is the Jesus I saw. When Saul on his way to Damascus met this Jesus, what happened to him? A hardened criminal. At once, he broke down. He called him Lord. Saul was fasting for three days and three nights. He was blind. The presence of God made a man blind physically. And there are people who claim they see Jesus every day fornicating around seeing jesus stealing around seeing jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing jesus that's not the jesus i saw that's not the jesus i saw for when you see him when zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when I saw Jesus, I was flat on the ground. Goodness. I'm telling you, I looked like a speck of dust in this majestic. I could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent. When you meet Jesus, it will change your life. It will overhaul your priority about ministry. It will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of i was this i was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth it was the brightness the i i i don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an, an aircraft 
over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when i got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that i will live and die for i've been captured by your love i can't explain now you have me and i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known and i surrender this life is not my own i belong to you i belong to you i belong to you i belong to you nobody coerced me i surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry i had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window i saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and building and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there is no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like I had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people. I was holding the keys. And I told them, I asked them, I said, who is the cause? Why you do not have food and water? And they said, you are the one. And I said, oh my God, I was moved with compassion. I started crying and I told them, I'm coming right away to help you. But there were people who had chased me and I was afraid of them. But I took the step to open the door. When I opened the door, there was a gigantic man waiting for me. And he was in the similitude of the Holy Spirit. He now held my hands and he said, let's walk together. I will walk with you in this journey. Are you getting the point? Then he began to walk with me. We were to jump from building to building. Just like structures like you have the student's hostel at the top from one end to the other. And he jumped to the other side and he sat down. There was a small ladder that connected the buildings. And I was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how I woke up all of a sudden my life changed I would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and I could not understand I would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me 
the way they will know i'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people will not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting a lot of copy and and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them any of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before him is beautiful there have been so many encounters in my life one time i was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community and I saw people sitting down sick people all around and I was looking at them and I said where are the doctors where is the hospital these people are dying what is all this I was shouting speaking to the air the people were so weak and helpless they could not even talk to me and then I had a voice that spoke to me from heaven he said go and heal them go and deliver them hallelujah one time when i was praying i was worshiping for a season i began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of god in my life i would worship and pray and build myself listen i want to give you a very big key to my life and that night it was a very deep encounter with god hallelujah and while i was in that place of encounter listen the lord spoke to me and he said from today i give you my presence as a gift this is what god told me hallelujah from that day god opened my eyes and i saw a huge angel i had never seen him and i said lord what is the name of this angel and the lord told me his name is called the angel of the lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand i have suffered for this anointing i've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive i grew up in the midst of people I didn't come out from a wilderness my life has been an open book from birth to death the bible says oh lord my god early will i seek you my soul thirsts for you it says to see your power and your glory this is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time i go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of god lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters 
so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah i remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you i'm sharing with you i'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight god is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night i finished praying listen true story god is my witness none of these things i'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes i have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or french and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say i sense the, the call of god upon my life now after nyc what will i do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now i say talk you were a very good bible study teacher you say truly i was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained you think it's an ambition it's a fraternity it's a sacrifice with their life they sell their soul to satan those ones have collected the mark of the beast already hallelujah that's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens there is no experience demons are not idiots they have followed the track record listen something happened there was somebody when we started koinonia he was coming he was in the occult i'm sure one i can't remember his name now one young guy he was in the occult they used to come and sit when people started sitting outside quietly they had seen me this gentleman was sent it's just that we don't we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happened it will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night i didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i pray and i finish that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of god it's like a spiritual meter that's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening it's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right your prayer life has died nothing wrong is happening you are not even studying nothing else is it's like a meter 
it will keep going down 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 you will not observe it it will just keep going down one day the devil will hit you once this is the reason why you will see a great man people don't just fall like that brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying samson slept with a harlot true or false without prayer he went and removed the gate of the city that god is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state he's challenging you to rise higher this is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive hallelujah one of the greatest assets i have in my life is not revelation it's not understanding it's my love for god and it's like a cancer and i trust god to infect you with it tonight a love for god that nothing can take not power not anointing not influence people call me all kinds of names i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 mighty god john 14 21 let's read one to read please can we have it from amplified do you have amplified let's have it from amplified The person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me. And what's his reward for loving me? It says, and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father. Are you seeing it now? I want to show you the protocol of our encounter. And I too will love him and will show reveal manifest myself to him i will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him is that in your bible there is a protocol god does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying many people want to encounter god everybody cry even in churches we hold all kinds of three days one week revival you see the poster revival exclamation mark revival two exclamation mark and then another revival three exclamation mark revival 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 and you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just nod they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and the community stands still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it What is our concept of Christianity? What do we really want to achieve? Ask the average believer, why do you go to church? 
it tells you to go and worship what is that it's just because we grew up knowing that you are a christian and it's good for you to go to church second corinthians or first corinthians lord we bless you the lord is redefining someone's christianity tonight removing the things that are unnecessary verse 9 first corinthians 2 verse 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference of our christian pursuit ask a man of god what are you seeking he tells you by the grace of god we should grow to ten thousand and fifteen thousand and then have our own auditorium have our own buses start making our own calendar then go on air is this our circumference of the pursuit of god I love him with my life he's my priority i'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when i sing he knows i'm not pretending it i love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if god asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and i pack up everything i promise you to god who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I, not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see god commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions god is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh god give me power i want to speak somebody sent me a text he said i cannot imagine how you speak and people fall i want it to i said go and ask god the guy felt disappointed go and ask god i'm not a herbalist i don't manufacture miracles in little dots of of, of oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable but right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist 
you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that God is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without God don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and God that God is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not. I know you are born again. I'm talking of a priority. That if you are to delete many things in your life, God will still remain. Hallelujah. There is a law in the spirit. Jeremiah 29. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 to 13. We'll read it quickly. Because I want us to pray. The Lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright that beyond revelation we will love him for I know the thoughts that I think towards you we know this scripture so well thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end next verse then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you Here's the condition, verse 13. This is a law in the spirit. Never forget it for as long as you live. Read it, everybody. Want to read. And find me when ye search for me with all your heart. This is the law for finding God in the spirit. You will never, never have an encounter with God until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever ask you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek god to seek god is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking god prayer is not necessarily seeking god to seek god is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek God is not to fast. To seek God is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make him the priority of your life at any cost. That has nothing to do with prayer. It is when that happens, prayer can be a machinery to help you get there. Fasting can be a machinery to help you get there. Worship can be a machinery to get there. To help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history 
I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just telling you that there are people like that. Yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered. So it's not just about fasting. People brag with fasting. They, they intimidate others with fasting. They make it look, how many days have you fasted? One will say three. Dry your wet. Say dry. Another person said all kinds of things. If fasting alone brought people into the place of power, some people would have brought the throne of God to the earth and be sitting on it by now. Let me tell you, fasting will not in its own just make God reveal himself to you. The psalmist said, as the deer pants after the water pools. Bishop Oedeko said something. He said, if you want to know the secret of the hand of God in my life, you must know my heartbeat for God. I know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for God. I go for meetings and I talk with preachers. After a powerful service, they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life. And when they come and sit down, 90% of them don't ask questions. They are just looking for an envelope. And they put offering and sign checks. Where is my PA? Bring check. And you, you sign it. You, you really think it will give you an encounter? I believe in giving and all of that. We've taught this there. And they just drop it. And they say, pray for me. When you meet a man of the spirit, ask questions. Don't just kneel down and say, lay hands on me. What was the secret of this glory? I know lots of preachers that teach well. But three days after they are teaching, people have forgotten everything they have said. But I know certain people. Reinhard Bonke is one of them. You meet him once, your life will never be the same. I remember when he came for a crusade. I think in Makodi, Dr. Paul Enenche said something. He said after the crusade, they should book the room and leave it 24 hours. The room that Paul Enenche slept in. Hallelujah. And when Paul, uh, when, 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 um, uh, what's his name now? The evangelist. Reinhard Bonke. When he left, Enenche said they, should, they shouldn't repair it. He said all the people they should not come and make it they should leave it as dirty as it is and he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said lord just give me the hunger that you gave this man i'm not asking for power just give me his hunger that's how to pray that's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for god that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the bible says there are many things that god has in store hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and I searched for it, searched for it on, on YouTube. I couldn't find it. And I said, Lord, would you help me? And I slept. It didn't take long. When I slept, I was in a dream. And I went back to my laptop. I Listen to me. True story. And someone came and found the message for me. And they played the message for me in the dream. Beginning to end. So I woke up. Listen, I had listened to the message. And I remembered everything. There are some things you see God do for a man. And you'll be like, God, you are not fair. God says, it's not that I'm not fair. This guy has attracted me with so much passion. It's, it's a love affair. That's why many people stop at the outer court. They cannot eat the hallowed bread. But there are some people, what somebody is fasting for for 10 days, God will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him. There are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them. Whereas another gentle sister is just saying, Lord, come, let me use you. Lord, I love you and I seek you with all my heart. And in that seeking, God will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night. 
and you just wake up shut out that god will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say lord please this is not the time god will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of god is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle i know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after god let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a i think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is god a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing man some of us can begin to seek god until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say i'm busy i'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for god say i'm too busy i have an appointment go is it not when god takes you there safely i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting this was the secret of david look at a man called david see all the bad bad things that david did and it was as if god didn't see it go and study the life of david and see how many criminal offenses david committed in his lifetime every bad thing you can imagine stealing somebody's wife kill the husband huh slept with Bathsheba, and when the first child died he did repent he still had solomon with her again at the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony god said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was david who sat down and his love for god he said how can i be in a palace like this and there is no house for my god although you do not need tents to dwell in but i will build you a house god said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem god i love you i'm not offended i will put the money for my son and god said what kind of man is this there is a way you love god that god you you try to force god to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now 
you have placed God in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of Israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the Bible says the right hand of God is power that's where Habal is got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you heard those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of God that is power when God stretches that hand Acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when God stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the Red Sea is it that God cannot save us listen I want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat God we are not sure whether God can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is HIV that God cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that God cannot give you increase Jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that God cannot give you what are demons that God cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that God cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah I'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days God created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that God will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him I cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the Lord woke me and said I must send you a seed I must send you a recharge card and I said Lord what are you doing to me I found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival Tower incorporated I'm not saying God didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of God and you will ride on the winds of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret I'm not the most gifted minister I'm not the most anointed minister I'm not the most eloquent minister I'm not the most intelligent minister I'm not the most experienced minister but one thing I can tell you ask God I love him oh I love him with my life and I love him with my heart I love him more than power I love him more than everything I love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this Soviet inside I love him more than this chair I love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with God you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love God that much God is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from University of Ibadan and goodness what the Lord did in that campus humbled me I have seen the hand of God and I see the hand of God week in week out but to see the humbling thing that 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 it was so humbling the wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there 
and we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night she wouldn't go i had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commission of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all to you everything i give Holding nothing, but holding nothing. I was talking with one of my friends one time, and he said, He calls me emoji. He said, Emoji, you are enjoying. No, oh? I'm seeing your picture on Facebook all the time. Ministry is sweet, oh, you are just changing clothes. And I was looking at the person. I said, look at somebody I've not seen after one year. Look at what is in his mind. You see that? That's what is in his mind. To him, he's enjoying crowds, money. He said, you are rich. Oh. You hear that boss is carrying people. And I, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, what is, what is wrong with this brother? Because to him, he now thinks one kind of magic happened. Do you know that you came into this ministry? because God brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if I seek him I will find him and when you find him you will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah David I'm come you are going to sing that song again we are going to sing and we are going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord i love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead shake it take up holding nothing sing from your heart lord i'm withholding nothing if you want the marriage take it if you want the relationship take it if you want my degree take it if you want my life take it if you want my ministry my anointing my money i sacrifice it my bank account my anointing take it I surrender Sing it from your heart Everything I give to you Withholding nothing Withholding nothing Holding nothing Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Abraham, take thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest, and offer him upon a mount that I will show you. You are going to pray. Prayer point number one. Lord, where is that Isaac in my life? That thing I cannot release and let go. Who is that Isaac? Where is that Isaac? 
what is that thing I cannot give you lift your voice and pray and say Lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives. And say Lord I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you. But I'm coming back home tonight. Holding nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us in business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others is ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics others job before you got the job before you got the admission God was a priority right now we are so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting God dying of HIV dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought God but now that it has gone there's no time for him again we're holding nothing we're holding nothing hallelujah still praying number, uh, prayer point number one you're going to pray you're going to say Lord even if you never bless me again in this life you already have my heart the issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they said oh king we know that our God will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you will bless me, but I love you more than the blessing. I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you Holding nothing, with holding nothing, with holding nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man. The Bible says, Job testifying about himself, he said, In the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle he said I walked upon butter and I sucked honey out of the rock he said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces the old men saw me and they stood up that was the position of Job 
and one day the devil went to the lord and said is it for nothing that this man serves you in other words his heart is not with you and god said you can touch everything don't touch his life let me watch and in one day his children went his cattle went everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love god that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you job you were a great man do you not remember when you dined with kings and job looked at her and said why do you speak like one of these stupid women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him the bible says in all of this job sinned not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people stephen and the bible says god turned the captivity of job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says do weeping endures for the night you wrote jam seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you're the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sinned and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing you may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to god there is nothing my god will not give you the lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing i will not give you i have received things from god i cannot remember when i prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles Give me an encounter that 
that will create the impetus for my spiritual life. No backsliding, no going back. Pray, I cry for an encounter. Open my eyes, oh God. Give me the vision of the night. Let me see Jesus seated on the throne. Let me hear his voice. Let me feel his embrace. Yeah, you have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Yeah, you have Take all of me. All of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. When you seek me with all your heart. Listen, hallelujah. Listen, we are still in a prayer mode. The altar call tonight is very special. We are still going to pray. Don't stop praying. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, listen, or you know that you've backslidden, as we pray, I like you to run from wherever you are, inside or outside. Just come and be on your knees and be praying. There are people God is calling back. You know where you used to be. Don't be ashamed. You've never given your heart to the Lord, inside or outside. As we pray right now, please leave your seat. Come out here quickly. Come out here quickly. Lift your voice and let's pray. Shake it. Quickly, quickly. Don't wait for anybody to call you. Come by yourself. Come and cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Say, Lord, I'm returning home tonight. Cry before your maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. You need Jesus tonight. Don't be ashamed. I want you to cry to the Lord give your life to Jesus by yourself don't pretend it you are not reciting any poem this night cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say Lord I'm sorry I return home tonight let me tell you your friends can let you down your association can let you down why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down? Don't be ashamed of your tears. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Some of us did not even re realize when we left God. You didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing Him. 
it's not like you were backsliding you didn't realize when success started taking god out of your life when failure started taking god out of your life those of you in front cry i know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here whether you are here or not cry to god where you are and say lord i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you beyond ministry i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business he is supposed to come out and he did not come out he is supposed to come out i mean business with you Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. From the depths of my heart, let everything else go. Let I don't care what it is. Let everything else go for the excellency of you. I won't trade you for silver or gold not for fame not for anything those of you in front keep talking to your maker he's listening to you your encounter tonight will be genuine you will know you found god you will never forget this day for the rest of your life hallelujah our time is fast spent but we are going to pray one prayer that the lord is putting in my heart listen listen the bible says love not the world nor the things that are in the world it said for he that loves let's let's look at that scripture can we look at it please we have to look at it first john 2 verse 14 to 17 first john 2 love not the world the word love there is the word eros lost a craving this is what god is going to cut out of some of us there are some of us that love god but we love money you can kill because of it there are some of us you love men ladies you love men more than your life you can go with any man you love god but let a man just come into your life there are some of us women you love women you you can you can do anything for women and a lot of pastors have said it doesn't matter let me tell you if you want the glory it matters i have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written to you young men because ye are strong and the word of god abided in you and ye have overcome the wicked one 15 whosoever shall confess that jesus is the son of god god dwelleth in him and he in god 16 john first john 2 not 4 2 sorry i was wondering first john 2 not first john 4 he said for all okay let's go back to verse 14 first john 2 verse 14 i have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of god abided in you and you have overcome the wicked one 15. love not the world this is this is the john admonishing us love not the world it's not saying you should not be rich we just finished a series on financial dominion it's not saying you should not get married but don't be attached that eros that craving that attachment no love not the world neither the things that are in the world that means there are things that are in this world but he said neither the things that are in the world hear me 
it says if any man has this attachment and this craving for the world the love of the father is not in him as simple as that next verse for all that is in the world what are the things in the world it categorizes them into three number one is the loss of the flesh is this amplified please give me amplified same 16 amplified for all that is in the world listen the lust of the flesh craving for sensual gratification that is the isaac that some of us need to drop tonight the lust of the flesh number two the lust of the eyes greedy longings of the mind you want the best car in the world you want everything anything your eyes sees you want human or material you will never contact the power of god that way number three and the pride of life this is the realm that some of us are sitting in assurance in one's own resources or in the stability of earthly things degrees houses qualifications the bible says these do not come from the father not the materials now but that desire does not proceed from the father but are from the world itself we are going to pray you know which of these three categories belongs to you every one of us in this place has a prayer point for at least one of them every one of us everyone and you are going to pray and say lord tonight i'm not ashamed you know the encumbrances that stop the richness of your spiritual experience your area of vulnerability lift your voice right now and pray pray from the depths of your heart for some of you it's the loss of the eyes don't say it does not matter brother it's time for you to take the issue of holiness and purity serious you can't be sleeping around and say it does not matter don't tell me it does not matter who shall ascend to the hill of the lord who shall stand in his holy place there are some of us who are hustlers you want to make it by all means you want to make ends meet it doesn't work like that pray from the depth of your heart is between you and your God tonight outside inside take it seriously say Lord I repent tonight take over this loss for money is killing me take over this loss for women is killing me take over this loss for wealth this loss for for popularity and recognition is killing me this love for ministry and title and accolades is killing me take it away let there be a circumcision a cutting away hallelujah early will i seek thee I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious man. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone. and go
When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you are always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen. Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You're going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. He says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. 
Alabaruta Shilakatis. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform, the night when you heal, the night when you deliver, the night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power, the night of your glory. Salatas. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my own belief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry, pray. Tonight is a night when you expand, when you receive. You are in business, pray. Career, pray. You are in ministry, pray. For your family, pray. Release your faith. Shila barakato salabradigesh. Raka parodo shubrata labaruda selekash. Raka taparada barado selebradi shalakurianda kasalabash. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, "Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not." Because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say, give us any day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is. But you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Palabaruta shalabragada baladabo. Granta lato shalagradira da baladaba. Someone is praying. Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will
Listen, please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the worker of wonders. He is truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never see the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen. Don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits. Please understand this. Behind many operations. Listen, when Jesus was going to calm the storm, every storm is made of two things, wind and water. You can see the water, but you cannot see the wind. Every storm is made of wind and water. There is no storm that is made of water alone. Jesus rebuked the water. He rebuked the wind and the water was still. There is no problem that is as a physical problem. There are spirits back of it. Whether it is financial, marital, spiritual. One of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital. No, sir. No, sir. There are spirits, more spirits than men on the earth. In one man, there was a legion. In one man. That's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits. 6,000 spirits in one man. Please listen to what I tell you. Your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around. And it, yes, there are principles here and there, but hear me, you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with. Are we together? There are, you can only judge situations by what has affected you. 
The one that has not affected you yet is there. But just because it has not happened yet, you may not know. So the secret is to address the spirits behind it. And not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there. Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a, very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You can be a man of God here. Greatly ministry. You are anointed. But things may not be working. And you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics, preaching well. That is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you. But Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment. There are spirits on assignment. There are demons on assignment. There are powers that are on assignment. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. What seest thou? Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. That these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. It's a reality. Behind many families are spirits. Behind many medical reports are spirits. Behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits. Oh, 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 oh. my help has come. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. 
cross there was no use of key the key was that chain as the chain fell the doors opened please i like you to pray in one minute father if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation it must live by the spirit and the grace of god lift your voice and pray by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family my business my ministry pray hallelujah you see the power of God is already touching people listen I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real they are very very real very real hallelujah I have met so many spirits in my life I've had so many encounters that's not the basis of believing they are there scripture already tells us they are there but let me tell you they are there and they are not there doing nothing they are there causing pain they are there manipulating families they are there projecting things that are not of the Christ but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty let's pray I want to begin to pray now please listen whether or not you are an usher I'd like you to help those under the anointing we are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering um, please participate in the prayer prayer is very powerful when done with understanding are we together now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people because there are real spirits behind people's situations hallelujah first I want you to bring out now I'm not going to say anything God is giving me an instruction the power of God I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people and these are spirits and when that happens the power of God will come upon them I want you whether outside or inside just begin to bring them out here we're going to pray and call on that name now but the Lord is revealing to me you will be very surprised some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. 
it's time for your liberty and your liberty in full in full by the spirit establishing the victory of the Christ over every life every destiny all right we're ready to pray please lift your hands let me pray now i'm seeing fire that fire is coming on people as i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as you shout that name jesus i declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives over bodies over finances over destinies i invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant he must go now at the count of three shout jesus one two three I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Now listen, we're going to pray for the sick, but I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, 
every growth fibroids malignant growth cancerous tissues by the spirit of the living God let the life and the power of God touch you now let the life help them please let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus I command those growths to leave those bodies now I command them to dissolve now help that lady please by the power of the Holy Ghost I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in. And we will never settle for less. We know everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three I prophesy to you move forward go forward go forward go forward stagnation comes to an end Ritro Apakoto Shala Rekete Kete Kete Parus Kaba Embreketo Sheleto Sabaka Stagnation comes to an end retrogression comes to an end Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. Listen, my dear. In the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. 
first bank let's hurry up please you walk who is that first bank all of you are bukola ma let me speak to you the grace for wealth stand up i'm looking at you and i'm seeing currencies falling on you and the lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth this, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father. Is it a general in the army? Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? 
chloroquine that's what happens to you like physically you begin to scratch your body i must pray for you why is she here please you are the one come madam you too where are you coming from ma you are coming from abuja come we we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? God. You see, my dear people, I'm no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire this row right down just like a sword of fire just passed I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus let it bring emancipation right now right now in the name of Jesus look at me my dear you believe in Jesus I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent be free now from this demonic satanic oppression in the name of Jesus our dear auntie let me pray for you just keep her there can you hold my hands madam i want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names help her be free right now i cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ five families hold my hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, man. Eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says, a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come your state of origin? Kapaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet. But I'm not. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, me. that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, 
it is because of the strength he has put in his church the power to change it completely are we together i want to pray for you you are very sick and even the surgery has not solved the problem because what i'm seeing is still there please hold my hand sir father in the name of jesus christ the son let this man not be given to the sword let him not be given to the grave in the name of jesus i knock on the door of life and i speak to you sir by the power of the holy ghost be set free i fortify you by the power of god's word and i declare death will be far from your dwelling i speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of jesus may the lord show you mercy continually in jesus name i pray family of five i need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. Oh yeah yeah say In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going right here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super ruskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. Is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of jesus who is the christ of god help her please in the name of jesus i command that spirit now 
by the power of the Holy Ghost release our mother in the name of Jesus mommy I command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for these two people now this lady where's she coming from okay there is it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady I'm talking to you in the name of Jesus I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the Lord will show you things in your dreams he will show you things in visions please bring our mommy for me let me pray in the name of Jesus Christ um, just touch her back for me in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now this is not sickness this is the spirit of death I command the spirit of death hell and the grave to leave our mother right now by the power of the Holy Spirit complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here. I don't know why, but this is what he's saying. Just right here to the wall. I'm seeing, I'm seeing people's stomach, the abdominal region. I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me to do my madness with God here and... Let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu salatu ziata. Kariza hashalam barita suba haseketa. Kradu saletu shala saba hasharata tasiakata. Rakata barada balakata prata sadebekatu shala branda skabariata. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? Coming from Mondo State, I'm a copper. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? I don't know you. That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit let me pray for you hold my hands my dear what did you study Medical laboratory science. do you have a job I'm, I'm a copper in on those states I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in on those states I want to pray for you the favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil. 
over your family and in the name of Jesus I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor receive that grace in Jesus name we're going to pray for the sick shortly but I want to release this grace for speed please I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed if you don't have it you don't have it period there is a grace Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana, Kashina, Sir King Sarakuna, Yana. let's pray listen it's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding when you understand how speed works you will never feel bad for any delay in your life it's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny it works mysteriously it works by compressing time 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 dominion over time is what speed is about I want to pray for someone now father please I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside people will begin to run physically honestly why God does it I don't know I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit but every time i pray this prayer the hand of god comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically and i'm going to pray that prayer now there are people here god wants to take 10 years and put in one year god wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years God does not only restore things, he restores time. Whoever can restore time must be God himself. Are we together? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow. One, two, three, four, online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three, take that grace now. Speed, restoration. I prophesy, pursue, overtake without fail, recover. Pursue, overtake without fail, recover. In career, pursue. In marriage, pursue. In ministry, pursue. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, help that woman, please. Overtake, recover. Financially, pursue, overtake, recover. In your influence, pursue, overtake, recover. In your academics, I pray for students. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person by the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit. There is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. it will happen by the spirit they will come out by them 
themselves a strong anointing is not something you can resist this is a sign and a wonder how God does it I don't know There are three more people, that's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind, it's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. I speak to all these ones that have come out by the Spirit. I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet. I'm seeing their legs specifically, their legs with chains. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus, I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. No more delay. No more retrogression by the Spirit of the living God. The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes. My friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you. And night is at your back and day is in your front. I prophesy to you what I'm seeing. And to everyone who connects with this prophecy, I take night behind you and I command your morning to stand before you. I take night behind you and I command the sun to shine before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the anointing of the spirit. I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Pali shalaha sakata bragadoshia. Ekretuskaba shalada baruti. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people. Moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How 
impossible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Na Na Na. New dimensions. We want to pray for the sick now. Listen very carefully. I believe in miracles. There are people here who are standing, trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives, their bodies. Kai, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus. I I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Hurricane Sarabuna Na 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 Hurricane Sarabuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God. To provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the Bible says wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name a title the Bible says that at the mention of that name everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning, tonight is the end. Pray. Don't worry, for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to, just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray.
Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever i stand as one sent by the spirit of the lord and i declare receive strange testimonies before this year runs out in the name of jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men hmm. when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of god to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of jesus every death sentence written here in the name of jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life please i want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ amen. delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. A 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now.
prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some carnal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of Jesus 
finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three. I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. The Bible says, for God so loved you and me, he proved his love by giving, not taking, giving his one an only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen
keep your hands lifted while I pray for you father thank you you have brought these ones by your spirit you are able to save to the uttermost scripture says thank you for drawing these ones I decree and declare by the Spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight I declare that you go forward ever and backward never the power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now very quickly there are a number of you um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands you can follow this aisle or this one whichever will take you to the same place please follow them as we celebrate them there will be a group of people to just receive you and hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you